Okay, let us consider finding the unknown side of a right angled triangle. Finding the unknown side of a right angled triangle. Finding the unknown side of a right angle triangle. This will lead us to the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. First, you should understand the side of the right angle triangle called the hypotenuse. This is a right angle triangle whose one has one of its angles to be 90 degree right angle triangle. As if this is my A, B, and C, this part is called the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, the side directly opposite the 90 degree, is called your hypotenuse. And if you have any other included angle, if you have any other inclined angle, for, assuming you have your inclined angle here, theta, the side facing the included angle is called the opposite, while the other side is called the adjacent. Adjacent. The, the, the part facing the 90 degree directly is it's called hypotenuse. Then if you have any included angle in it, the side facing that included angle is called the opposite, and the other side is called the adjacent. Now, I will be looking at Pythagoras' theory today. Pythagoras was a famous Greek philosopher and geometer. Pythagoras was a famous Greek philosopher and geometer. We said anyone who studies shapes and their properties is called a geometer. And in one of the classes we said that Euclid is the father of geometry. Now, historically, it was said that the word philosophy and mathematics were coined by Pythagoras. Historically, it is believed or said that the words philosophy and mathematics were coined by Pythagoras himself. Remember I said the Pythagoras is a famous Greek philosopher and geometer. So we're considering Pythagoras theory today. Pythagoras theory. The Pythagoras theory. Pythagoras theory. The theory has to do with the square of the hypotenuse becoming equal to the sum of the square of the adjacent and the opposite. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the adjacent and the square of the opposite. That is what this theory states. And this theory is still very useful in mathematics in the course of trying to deal with right-angled triangles. Pythagoras theory. Pythagoras theory states states that in any given right-angled triangle Right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square on the other two sides. On the other two side, which are 
adjacent and opposite. So from this theory, I'm going to have this as hypotenuse. I'm using HYP for hypotenuse is equal to ADJ square plus OPP square. That is what the theory states. That hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent square plus opposite square. Now, if I want to get a right angle triangle in this form by labeling that A, B, C, the side facing B directly, I'll be calling it B, that of A, small A, that of C, small C. From here, my hypotenuse will be B, my adjacent, since I have no, if you don't have any included angle, if there is no included angle given in that right angle triangle, don't stress yourself in looking for which is opposite or adjacent. It is only when you have an included angle like this that you can tell quickly or directly that the side facing it directly is called the opposite. But in this case, there is no included angle. So this can be my adjacent or opposite, adjacent or opposite. But let me just put that in it, include angle. So this is my opposite now, and here's my adjacent. So from here we have, from the theory stated, we have B square is equal to C square plus A square. This is the Pythagoras mathematical formula. The Pythagoras law or theory. That is it on the board. We can use that problem to solve a lot of problems involving right angles, triangles. Application of Pythagoras theory for the junior students or students writing the BECE, this is very key to you. Then for the uh, WASI student, you need to apply this to solve problems, especially when you're dealing with trigonometry functions. You, uh, when you're dealing with trig functions, you need to deal with Pythagoras theory first before you find, to help you, to help you find the unknown side. So I can know what your sine, your cosine, or tangent, cot, cotangent, or sec would be. You need to use your Pythagoras theory to deal with that. Quickly, let us let us consider the right angle triangle before application. Application. Look, let us consider this right angle triangle below that we have here. You have that. Here is four centimeter. 3 cm and then you have x and you're asked to find x you're asked to find x in this type of problem let me call here my included angle this time around I'm asked to find x in this problem I need to use Pythagoras theorem I need to use Pythagoras theorem that is the only formula for now or theorem that I can use to find my hypotenuse because the theory defines states that the square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the other side. So since it involves these three sides in the theory, I can use to solve the problem finding the value for x. Now, you need to state Pythagoras theory quickly. Solution. Always state your formulas in the course of solving mathematical problems. Always state your formulas in the course of solving Mathematical problems. Now, the formula is hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent square plus opposite square. Now, I know my hypotenuse will be x, so I write my x square. I'm only doing substitution in mathematics. My hypotenuse is x, so I'm writing x square. Adjacent is 3. I write 3 square. And my opposite is 4, I write 4 square. Now I have s square is equal to 9 plus 16. 3 square is 3 times 3. And 4 square is 4 times 4. These are the things you should know at this point. For being this far in U perfecta, you should know such things. Now I have x square is equal to 25. And my x alone will be the square root of what? 25. And that will give us. 5, you can actually write it as plus or minus 5, whatever, your answer is 5, so therefore, 
your S is equal to 5 centimeters. Don't, don't leave away the units. Ensure you attach your units to your answer. This is how we can deal with problem using the Pythagoras theory. Using the Pythagoras theory, let, we can also find other sides of right angle triangles. We can also find other sides of right angle triangles. Let me use the same problem. Having, having known that X are 5, let us see how we can deal with problem of such. That I'll do with other side. Here is theta. Now we, we, I know my x will be 5. Let here be 4 centimeter. I'm going to find x now. Now in this case, I've been given the hypotenuse. Always state your formula. Solution. Hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent square plus opposite square. My hypotenuse is 5. In this case, 5 square. Adjacent is x, not giving x square. Opposite is 4 square. So I'm going to have 5 square is 5 times 5, which is 25 is equal to x square, plus 4 times 4 is 16. Now I want to make x the subject, but at first, I will need to take 16 as from it to the other side. I'll be having 25 minus 16 is equal to x square. That will also imply that x is equal, x square is equal to 9. For me to make x to stand alone, you've been taught inverses of numbers or signs or powers. The inverse of power 2 is square root. So we have it, x is equal to the square root of 9, and that will be 3. Therefore, x is equal to 3 centimeter. Here is the answer we are going to have. So you can use the same Pythagoras theory to find other sides of a given triangle. But this is all about Pythagoras theory. Remember I said, he was a famous Greek philosopher and geometer. And it is believed historically that Pythagoras is the one who coined the words philosophy and mathematics. And here is a theory he came up with in mathematics that the, in, right, in solving right angled triangles, he said the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other sides of the, uh, of the right angled triangle. And I'm going to tell us how to go about that. These are some of the problems you'll be seeing in your uh, examples. Uh, uh, examples will be seen in your in your examinations or your classwork. But should you come across these type of problems in your BECE or your WASI exams, you should be able to deal with that and ensure you get the right answers. Remain studious and excel and excel in your academics. I'll see you in the next class. Thank you.